like giving me a disease. Oh my god, it's a bird! Girl, are you the actual definition of fucking insane? For the brightest colors always. What the? Hey, hey guys, today we're going to be playing this some, uh, some fucking Until Dawn, and I'm going to be playing it Until Dawn. And right now they're explaining the downfall of Ashen Kutcher with the butterfly effect. Because let's face it, as amusing as that movie is, it's almost stupid as fuck. So I'm hoping this game ain't stupid as fuck, though, but, I mean, if you're starting off with the butterfly effect and bringing up bad memories of that shit, especially because no one actually gives a shit about the actual theory of the butterfly effect, this is almost already redundant. At least in my opinion, other people love this game. It's gotten great fucking reviews. So, I'm gonna see if I can go out of my way to shit on it. Alright, we're starting off with a spooky cabin and the Aspen Neverglades. I don't know where the fuck this is, to be honest. Although I admit, the graphics for this look beautiful as fuck. So, let's see. Opening cutscene, can I skip? No! Oh my god, it's Jason! All right, so we got teenagers in the cabin, but ready to party, it looks like. So a lot of horror movies start out this way, but so do a lot of pornos. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and just because he's class. And we already start off with teenage hormone drama. I love it. Absolutely love it. Whatever you say, darling. Whatever you say, just put it in my butt. I just want to go out and get fucked. Just get fucked. Damn that booty though. These graphics. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, where are you? Oh shit. Oh, they're about to prank someone. She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Ah, uh, they're gonna pick it. Oh, they're gonna pick on the nerdy girl. That's not cool. Mike? Although it will be hilarious. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah, show me your tits. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait on that. Sexual suspense and another... Okay. So there's that dude again. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Seriously, I was standing here staring at that guy for like 15 Dad. minutes. Okay, so now we can move around. Cool. It feels really cinematic. In fact, it really reminds me of like old school Resident Evil, except for the controls aren't fucking retarded. All right, let's see how we do this. Yep, got it. Oh shit! Yep. Oh my god! What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Well, time... hopefully she's getting herself into a uh, sexual situation, but I don't think that's gonna pan out for her behalf. Okay, I, I already know that. I know how to look around. See, I can find clues up on the ceiling and shit. Just stare up when you walk. You'll get everywhere you need to go. All right, what's this? Hmm, interesting. It's empty. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Really? With just one bottle? Pussies! What the fuck is up with that smile? Damn! I think the scariest part of this game are the characters' facial expressions. Holy shit. Cause it's like they're lifeless fucking animated bodies trying to be- Oh shit. Oh look! The butterfly effect. 
Already like three minutes into the game, we already got a reference to what we opened up the game with. Because we have to assume that the player is stupid and doesn't know how to follow movie plots. You're such jerks! Jerks! Oh no. That's where the killer is! Okay, so now we gotta make a choice. Uh, Josh is passed out fucking drunk after a bottle, so we're gonna go get help from everyone who's awake. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just fucking... tells me the joke. It was just a prank, Han. I it seriously is. I mean, as evil as it is, it is just a joke. You jerks! The fucking... Damn, she really went out there just to cry? Fuck! You know, I kind of Fucking women, man. Fucking emotional out. girls. That's how people get killed. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. How exciting. Quick time events. Uh, let's be safe and not stupid. Because, I mean, a staircase is only going to take you an extra three fucking seconds. And not risk breaking your legs or ankles. Follow the shardy footprints. Uh, follow the footprints, obviously. Like I was just joking about. But I'm also serious. Oh no. There's nothing more fearsome than elk in the middle of the woods at night. Fucking seriously, why would you go out this fucking far just to be by yourself? All you need to do is be like 30 feet away from a proximity of a place which people are being dicks to you, and you're fine. Oh, uh, that's a neat little feature. Maybe if I text her, she'll she'll answer. Woo! Urban exploration gone wrong. Alright, can we move a little faster, please? This is only moving at... I mean... I don't mind watching her walk, though. I really don't. Alright. Now we get that booty bouncing. Hold all one. Alright. So we can move, like, an eighth of a mile faster. Per second. Well, no. A mini tiki. How is this not completely covered up unless it was placed by someone? Oh, shit. Hmm. It's almost like a game spoiler. Huh? Takes half the fun out if I know that's like a result of a decision that I can make. Hannah! Oh, fire! What the hell was that? It was a dragon, bitch. Fucking, you're like a quarter mile away. Oh Why? God, Without a jacket. Here, you're so stupid. Coat. I didn't even have that jacket 30 seconds ago. Where the fuck oh, did no. I pull that from? Conveniently yeah. placed movie props are convenient. Oh, now we can actually run when we're not in control of the situation. And why the fuck would you just fall down like that after I just save you? And why is this bitch throwing her phone all over the place? I don't understand why people is dumb. No! No! Shit! No! Get back! No! Ah! Oh no! Huh. It's almost like we've seen this happening. Okay, it looks like he actually wants to help if he wants to kill us. I'm gonna let God decide because both of those are dick decisions. And it looks like he wants to help. If he wanted us dead, he'd just flame burger us. 
Come on. Let him let him do it. Oh shit. Fucking they should have given me an option to like let me fucking just wait for him to grab us. So no matter like if you don't make a decision, they just give you the worst possible outcome. Hey. It's the Russian from Armageddon. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Okay. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Huh. If only that Ashton Kutcher movie understood that. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single oh, fourth wall break. So we acknowledge we're in a game. Those around you. No need to take this seriously anymore. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And well, I thank you for providing you emphasis on my point. I love you. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Why is it that your face is like the best animated part of this game? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Okay. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. But what if I want to look at the blank side? To answer honestly in order to get the most out of it. You know what? I'm not even going to question you because right now you're like my favorite human being. So, we'll look at the picture. I hope it has boobs. Eh. Eh, not quite. I mean, aside from the Scarecrow, it's actually a pretty nice picture. But I can't even shit on the Scarecrow because I understand what they're there for. Aside from the hook hand. But, whatever. Okay, cool. So, how did that picture make you feel? Aroused. Eh, I mean, overall, it's actually a nice picture. There's nothing to over-analyze on my part of it. In what way did it make you happy? In my pants. You know, I've always been a sucker for the sunshine. It's why I love the summer. <laughs> I see. Winter is so just brutal. Word? would best describe how you feel about darkness. Meh. I mean, it doesn't scare me. It doesn't even make me feel depressed, so... But, whatever. Uh, winter nights are cold and dark. Depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night... Nah, that's like the perfect place. way to describe winter. It's a very depressing and evil time for everyone. I would think that you might feel... Isolated at times. Does that bother you? Eh, not really. I hate people. Well, not much of a people's person, are we? No. People are overrated, man. Well, it seems we have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Okay. Until then. You know, I actually kind of really enjoy this part of the game. And I'm only a few minutes into it. So far, this is my favorite part. God, man, I could never ask for such a wonderful psychiatrist slash therapist. This opening, though. Are we playing Metal Gear Solid 3? What do we need for this game's music? Oh, we just need a monotonous chorus that says something about death like 16 times. Perfect!
Opening credits? This is bullshit? I don't need this shit. I mean, granted, it is. It's fucking beautiful. They did a good job with it. Oh, look, another butterfly effect. Woohoo! You know, it would just annoy me less if they didn't have to shove the whole butterfly philosophy in our face about five times a scene. Missing? How fucking hard did you search? Like we weren't even a mile away from the fucking house. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He has warned them against pursuing their construction project. I mean, unless whatever took the bodies, and I don't know. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. Damn, Josh doesn't even look like you left the house after you woke up drunk. And why are you, like, putting right. your fingers on the lens? Well, That's just hello, stupid. friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let as you As soon know, as this cutscene's uh, over, I'm gonna point out every reason why this is bullshit and I think you're evil. The room for a second. I know. Or at least possibly. Maybe you're just dealing with this wrong. Maybe it don't make you evil. I shouldn't have said that. Well, can we talk about for a minute that it doesn't even look like how you tidied the place up? It, like, you left it looking like a Resident Evil scene since this shit fucking went down. Why the fuck would you want to party like a porn star in a place in which people got killed or went missing, whatever the fuck? That's how everyone gets fucked. Okay, we really don't need this after the main cutscene is over. Like, you already had opening credits with a fucking main cutscene. Why are you throwing in more fucking credits? Blackwood Pines! Spooky. And you're telling me that there's a little short city bus that just comes all the way up here because... I'm not buying it, bro. There ain't no way you're gonna get to a place like this on public transit unless it's a public place. And there's no fucking way that the driver did not see that motherfucker at all. I don't care if it was through the rear view or what. He is way too close to the scene to not be noticed by somebody. Consider it. Adventure. Oh, cool. I can skip the character intros. That's nice. Hello? Hi. Someone there? Yeah, my name's John. I like your butt. Okay, now we can do shit. So, as I was saying... I find it very suspicious that Josh 
Doesn't even look like he's left the fucking cabin. And even if he's been there long enough to get everything ready for these annual festivities, uh, everything looks like it's still a horror scene. Like you did nothing to improve the situation. And there's something about your mannerisms, the way you're coming off, that's like you're way too at peace with all this shit. And yeah, the idealism here is like, oh, what a perfect way to be like, oh, one year later, best way to celebrate their loss is by going back to the place of which all this crazy shit went down. Fucking retarded, yo. Like, wouldn't you want to meet somewhere nice, like, you know, a sunny afternoon park where we can all have, like, a picnic or a grill out or whatever the fuck? We'll do this a safe way because why the fuck not? Jump! Huzzah! And this is why putting up a wall will just be useless. Any motherfucker can just still climb. But hey, if you can climb that wall and get over, I think that should be automatic citizenship. Because that's going to take some fucking prowess. So what's over here? Aww. Oh, look, a furry rat! You hungry? Come here, baby, give me a disease. Come on, come on. Fuck you! Uh, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come oh, on. really? You really want him to chew my nuts? I don't want to put my nuts in his mouth. Come on, come on, come on, and fuck you. Ah, damn it. Hey, 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 it's okay. Girl, are you the actual uh, definition of fucking insane? Alright, whatever. They obviously want me to let them fucking chew my nuts, so we'll do it. All I gotta do is not move the controller. <laughs> wow. How fucking amazing. We got to feed a squirrel. That's wonderful. I, I don't... So far, every path in this game is linear as fuck, so I don't think I'll need help on figuring out which fucking way to go. I mean, for a game that's severely simple of its premise, it really makes you feel like you might be stupid. Oh, look. More butterflies. And another tiki totem. Yeah, I think we already figured this out. Why are you throwing out this shit now? Let me... Are, are we just going to sit here and stare at it? Yeah, I got it. I know how to look at the guidance zone. Like, the constant fucking tutorial reminders and hints... Even on shit that they've already covered and you already know, is fucking bullshit. But overall, I do like the gameplay. I like, I like the graphics and feel of the game. I mean, basically, if they just took away like Chris? half the story Chris? or quote unquote story, we'd be fine. Bags here. What are you? You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> hey, no. is it a dick in the box? What are you reaching for? Close that bag up. That ain't none of my business. I don't give a fuck what's on their phone. Chris. Sam, hey, you made it. Damn, bro, that's like the douchiest smile you could ever throw out. Like I'm just starting to look at you and you already Oh, oh my so god, that hair? I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. This way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. The only thing blowing my mind is how much of a douchebag you are. Like, he seems like very much that stereotypical nerd that got in with some cool kids and thinks he's suddenly the shit. Oh man, look at this. Nice. I think we'll get a visit from the American Most Wanted. Looks like someone thought so. 
Let's see. Ta -da. Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Wow, on. it's almost like we might have seen this shit the last uh, time we were here. The word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? And wow. It, it's a fucking post with a rifle. How fucking amazing is that in the middle of the woods? Okay, cool. So it looks like we get a little shooting minigame. Help burn off some aggressions. Because I'm sure at least one of the developers was like, Bro, all this shit is going to annoy people and just want them to shoot something. Okay. Oh, wow. that was simple. Oh god, dude. I've officially given up on your character. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Uh oh. How convenient. Shooting shit makes nuts. And Chris is a douchebag, so he's gonna shoot the fucking rodent. Fatality. Bullseye. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is uh, so effed up. What? All you gotta that do is press the R2 button. Wasn't that hard? Ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I and I feel like this is a proper decision if I want to keep emphasizing <gasps> Chris is a douchebag. Oh my god! Oh my god. god. It's a bird! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Subscribe our right. Alright, so now we're moving Chris. Neat. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Door's locked. Josh huh? wanted us to keep it locked. Out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Huh, so maybe that gate was intentionally broken. After you. A oh, real gentleman. But... What plot device of that just doesn't make sense? If you were trying to intentionally keep people out and break the gate, why leave a note just saying, hey, just climb over? Especially if you're not specifying who the note is for. I doesn't get it, Lieutenant Dan! Oh, look, a poster. Ooh, Blackwood Pines, yet again. This time it is glory days. Okay, so... crazy place to set up house. Oh, We're now we're pointing that out? So Alright. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so we know that the cabin is completely monitored. That's nice. But we don't have, like, a security guard here, so that defeats the whole purpose. And there's our ride. And I think. Oh no, Fine. never mind. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just gonna kind of leave off here. I might play this game some more because despite how much I shit on it, I'm having fun playing it, and I'm also having fun shitting on it. So, yeah, we're just getting this off here, see where this whole thing go- wait, what's happening? Okay, you know what? Like now suddenly the prevalence of time starts kicking in for this, so I'm gonna wait to end this off. Never mind, I'm the one that's wrong. Oh, yeah, this was the, right thing to do. the game's like, fuck you, keep you know, playing, so here we go. Come sail away with me. Doing something, didn't he? 
Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Bro, why are you so fucking excited about everything? Like, the way you move and all your mannerisms, they're almost like you just snorted, like, three fucking Adderalls. And chase that shit down with, like, six oh, cups of coffee. Are you are way too high. Bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about it. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other. All right, so it looks like we just had but a momentary break in the video because I forgot that my recordings are set on a certain timer for 15 front. minutes or whatever the I fuck was... it is. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. So basically, my theory on this fucker was right. He was like a nobody in high school and suddenly became friends with the popular kids and now he thinks he's the shit! Oh my god, I can't wait to have him get killed off. Hashtag spoilers. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh my god, really? How many fucking butterfly effect references do we fucking need in just the opening of this goddamn game? That's when you have a good story that has a lot of potential being overflowed with monotonous stupid shit and is therefore tainted by it. Oh, hey there, baby. How are you doing? Mike's new girlfriend. Boy, oh boy, okay. Oh new people. Time to meet and greet. Okay, fucking pausing it because this is where I'm going to end off on the video. I mean, my original clip already ran out of fucking time, so I'm already going to have to piece this in there, so fuck it. Uh, I'll probably end up playing it again, to be honest, how I was just doing this is sort of like a good break from working on my own project because I've been trying to develop my own game. Don't get too excited, it's just a simple little 2D fucking thing that I'm making with RPG Maker, but... I've been trying to do a lot with that because whatever, but this was a nice little break, uh, so I might do this again, don't know yet, either way, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.